Bring it back. Hi guys, what's going on? It's Evo Loz, and today we are back with another video. Today we are looking at the sort of historic city building game Foundation. So this is sort of another game in the historic city building uh, strategy type game series. Uh, we've seen a few of these that are developing recently. Uh, so to get started I wanted to read you a bit of a blurb about the game just to set the scene. So you start in the Middle Ages and you have for services to the king been appointed the lord of a village, determined to build a prosperous settlement in this intricate period. Will you be a gentle lord or one with a fist of steel? Your challenges will be many, the rewards will be great. In Foundation, the choices are as many as you seek to build your legacy. So what's this game all about? This game seems to be integrating sort of a couple of features of Austria, of Banished, uh, a few little bits of Lords and Peasants as well, all into one superb little game. So a number of the features in the game, such as um, we've got fully naturally dynamically building roads, so uh, as peasants walk around the village, the routes that they take will determine the way the roads develop. We can also suspect, expect to see a, a completely gridless building system. So there won't be uh, placing your buildings in fixed directions, you can place them wherever you like. Which is a, a really cool little feature about this game. So on top of this, we can also expect to see um, a range of fully customizable buildings. So where in a lot of games of this type, you might have uh, say a church building, which is just a one type building that you place. In this, all those sort of buildings are going to be fully customizable. So instead of just having one church, you'll have the elements of the church, as you can see in this clip here. So you'll have, you know, sort of the main church hall, or like the nave, and then you'll have the various towers, um, sort of side chapels, doors, entrances, gateways, windows, stained glass, all that sort of thing. You can all add on to the church to design it how you want it to be. And you can also change the colour of the roofing tiles and the stone, etc. So it'll just be things like a church that you have in the middle of your town centre might be completely differently uh, built to like a, a secluded abbey that you might have on top of a hill. Um, and that really adds a cool little element to the game of how you can sort of design your city how you want it to be. And so it's not just going to be religious buildings either. We can expect to see these features uh, integrated into buildings such as castles and forts, maybe barracks, and other key monument buildings, um, sort of large buildings within your city. They're going to add that customizable element. So as I briefly mentioned earlier, sort of the dynamic way in which your city develops is going to be a real sort of key cornerstone concept to this game. And to that end, they've introduced sort of like a sort of zoning, sort of similar like to the old SimCity games used to use. So you can set aside an area for residential, uh, and then instead of you placing individual lots of little houses everywhere, your villagers will then construct their own little houses um, in and around desirable locations. So they'll build them in and around the village centre, and then they'll build the houses along the main highway routes. So they won't be interested in if you mark an area in the end edge of the map in the middle of nowhere, no one will be interested in building there. So property areas will have different levels of desirability. These houses will then be upgraded upgrade, as citizens get more prosperous. You're also going to have a pretty good working relationship with your citizens. Um, the game's going to enable you to individually assign them to different jobs and skills as you want. And citizens are likely to be developing their skill set as they work. So more experienced citizens are going to be best assigned to certain jobs. Uh, although it is likely that the more experienced citizens are going to have higher demands in terms of the resources they require. And on top of this, the developers have got lots more features which they're planning on implementing. Uh, they're going to have sort of a detailed trade system which is going to enable you to get access to rare resources and specialist workers from your neighbouring cities. But they also plan to allow you to actually import topographies, uh, real world topographies, so we can design your cities around uh, real world examples. I think there's really a lot that could come from this game and I think it's going to be really exciting to see it as it develops forward through into 2018 and I for one really can't wait for early access to come out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video just as sort of a little bit of an initial look at this fantastic game just to see what it's going to be developing into. As we head into 2018 we're going to see more updates and hopefully we'll get maybe access to the early access which is something that I'll be looking forward to. So if you've enjoyed this video, let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And without further ado, I'm just going to leave you with a few clips of the game and some of my favourite screen grabs.
Thank you.